top of the morning to you, laddies and lassies. Or afternoon, or evening. Yeah, this isn't working. Hello, this is Sugar Belly, and welcome to a NASCAR Let's Play video. <laughs> that one was spot on. All right, enough messing about, Sugar Bell. Time to get into the real video. Hello, everyone. My name is Sugar Bell. You may know me from the Mario Kart and Ridge Racer videos, and from a certain someone mentioning me several times in the more recent videos. Well, since things are being put on a slowdown for now, I thought that it would be nice if I walked you guys through my experience in the two most recent NASCAR races. I started off 11th in the grid right behind that certain someone herself who was saying some really cryptic stuff during the pace lap. The broadcasting didn't cover it, and I just missed the opportunity to record it. Which is why I started recording my gameplay later on to capture the action, from my perspective. Green flag is in the air and the third race of the season commences. And it's Vegas, baby! One of my personal favorites. The start of the race was all about Lots keeping a good pace and positioning to set myself up for the latter stages. And on the 14th lap, I managed to skip dark side and take the lead for the first time. Now, it was all about maintaining that good momentum. And what might be your plan of action for the day, Pip? Say it loud for the homies in the back, princess! Oh, you know me! Taking it easy peasy at the start, keeping the pit mobile in tip top pretty condition, and when everyone else is beat up from crashing, we go in flat out and taking Vegas by storm! She, in fact, was not gonna be taking Vegas by storm, because in the 47th lap was the first crash of the race, starring none other than Princess Philomena Petals herself. The only thing she was taking was a wall to the face. Well, that's just great, isn't it? As I approached the line, I noticed the accident, and even further shenanigans ensued, causing me to have to think fast and leading to an extremely close call. Holy That was way too close. I'll throw you in a refrigerator then. How's that for being a lonely girl, you heartless, racist, fascist, blowhard? I told you to stop talking to me. Get that through your thick skull. Are you guys okay? What's all that rooly booly going on back there? Oh, these two still haven't gotten over their little dispute in Ridge Racer. Well, if it's any help at all, uh, my nan used to say, just get over it. <laughs> What? What? Um, if it's as petty as it sounds, then it'll honestly be worth the while if you just try to force yourselves to get over it. Because after that, it just happens naturally. So, these two are still you fighting, know, so and so is Sky. I'm glad that Jade was able to try to help them, but at this point, they might need to hit the gaming lounge. Moving on to lap 86, where the second crash happened, Tree Hugger slams into the wall and catches Mono Mono along with Oh my god, you again! You are game! When will you buzz off from me, you high horse? And I'd feel for Naito in that moment if it weren't for the fact that he tried to take me out for no reason. Oh, sugar cubes! And Come on, what was that? Point? Shut up, Sugar Bell! I'm the one doing the talking! Here we go again! Are you yes, kidding are you me? Right now, Some mom? pony help you know me you can kill myself! Me. Yeah. I'm so well, bad right now! now. Oh my crashed God, again, but this here. time she it's wasn't the worst the casualty as Lightning was hit really it. hard to the point where she couldn't continue the race any further. And after a coming together with Atlanta winner Midoriya, Pip had set the record for most crashes in a single race this season so far. Oh my God. Safe to say that she was ah. quite short-tempered about the situation. Move out of the way, Sugar Bell. I'm craving a leash. Goodness me, why does everyone keep... A lot of the race consisted of me, Derpy, and Marble competing for the lead. We always engage in some quite interesting conversations. Diamonds and heat makes marble. And I'll continue to bring the heat today. Heated limestone, to be exact. Do you think that if your sister was heated enough, she would turn into you? Not likely. She's been hot. Hot-tempered her whole life and no signs of metamorphosis yet. Heck, she gets angry every time I wish her a happy birthday. She seems like a glass fully empty kind of pony. I pray for happiness to befall onto her life someday. Me too, sister. Sometimes when I get angry, I like to put myself in my freezer. Sorry, and oh, your what? Jiminy Christmas nuts. I forgot.
forgot to put my vegetables in the freezer again. But you didn't forget to put yourself in? Do you guys have any plans for Christmas? Yeah, I do. Me too. Yeah, so do I. Cool beans. Mm-hmm. Cool. Microwaves. Oh, DeLonghi's all the way. Can't go wrong with a bit of bread. Trick question. Only kumquats use those carcinogenic devices. Oh, you're just mad that you don't have a DeLonghi microwave. Real Don't worry. Their Very few are actual privileged actual enough to. Brand is the best brand. I love a good old conversation with my friends. Wait, I forgot about the race, didn't I? Let's get back to it. Much later on, I found myself in a tough 1v1 battle with none other than Speed Racer behind me. It was extremely daunting, especially knowing how much of a seasoned veteran he is. But after a well-executed turn from me and an unlikely slip-up from him, I broke away from the pack for the final time. And that's when I knew this victory was destiny. It's a wrap on the race, and the checkered flag goes to Sugar Bell. A highly dominant performance is rewarded with her first victory of the season. By day she baked in Sugar Cube Corner, and by evening she cooked in Las Vegas. Incredible racing, dog! Well, thanks, guys. It was no easy task, but it made the victory all worth it in the end. Now then, with this win out of the way, we want to know what comes next for you from now until the playoffs. Well, that's easy. I win again. Yup! You heard that right. Those big bold words came out of my mouth. That victory ignited a blazing fire inside of me which made me feel unstoppable. I think Coco Palmel said it before, but once I get going, I simply can't stop. And as the next race dawned upon us in Phoenix, Arizona, it was no longer just a matter of following the race plan or driving faster than everyone else. No, this was now a matter of keeping that flame burning while controlling it at the same time. So what thrills lied ahead as I started off sixth in the grid with nothing but a drive to win? I asked myself. What thrills lie ahead as I start Literally. off sixth in the grid with nothing but a drive to win? Drive to win? That's a great pun. Oh, sugar cubes, I wasn't meant to say that out loud. Well, I started the race in usual fashion. Keep a good pace and hold my line for the first few laps. By the fourth lap, I already had the lead. A few fluctuations later and I was leading in the hundredth lap. I went down some straights while still in first place. Then I turned left some, then down another straight, then turned left, then down a 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 straight, then turned left. Yeah, 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 you get the picture. Nothing really happened in this race. It was quite boring, actually. To watch, at least. But nevertheless, I managed to pull through with another victory after leading 254 laps out of the 312. Mahindra Tractors is probably going to become more popular among us since everyone is so used to seeing my tail lights. They must be sick of the sight of me at this point. I really hope that's not the case, though. I really hope that's not the case, though. I hope that's not the case, though. Case, though. Case, though. Anywho, thank you guys so much for listening to my racing experience. Seeing all your love and support really does put a smile on my face. On our faces. Be sure to check out the previous races or any other videos you may be interested in. And until next time, take care and peace.